Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Wayne Jensen, the creator of the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate the PowerPoint 2021, Chapter 6, Advanced Project 6-7. So we'll begin by downloading the start file. And once that's downloaded, we'll open it up. And once it's opened, we'll click on the Enable Editing button. And then we're gonna minimize it for just a second while we download the resources file. So download the resources file and once that's downloaded, we'll go to the downloads folder because that's where it went. And we'll need to unzip that and un double click that again. And then we're going to take these three files. So click on the first one, hold the shift key down, click on the last one, and we're going to drag them over into the downloads folder so that they'll, all the full files that we need will be in the downloads folder. We'll know where they're at. And then we're ready to go on to the next instruction. Okay, we opened the file. Um, your, the file name gets renamed with your first and last name is uh, appended to it, so we don't need to worry about changing the project file name. And then for instruction three, we're going to embed a PDF file. So let's do that. So we're going to go down to uh, slide 11 on our navigation pane, select that. And then um, we're going to insert the investment strategy 06, which is a PDF, PDF file. So click on the insert and in the text section here, we're going to click on the object button. And then we're going to create from a file. And we're going to click on the browse and we want to go to the downloads folder and find that investment strategy 06 06. So the one that's a PDF file. So let's see, let's expand this so we can see. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so this one here, and then click OK. And then we want to, um, yeah, just click OK. And it'll insert that file. Okay, then we want to change the height to 6.5. So click on the shape format here, and then change this to 6.5, and enter. And move the object to the right. So you can use your arrow keys. Um, like I'm just gonna use the right arrow and move it over, or you can just drag it over like this and put it approximately where it looks like it is in the instructions. That looks about right. Okay, and then uh, it says apply a black shape outline. Okay, so click on the shape format and then click on the shape outline and choose the black or just standard colors, black, I guess. Oh, that's dark blue. Okay, just choose the black. Like that. Okay, and then uh, for instruction four, we're gonna use paste special to link to an object. So open the Excel file, small save-06. So um, we need to go to our downloads folder. And this, in the downloads folder, we're gonna find this small, Save 06 Excel file. We'll double click on that to open it in Excel. And then it says copy the chart that shows the amount accumulated. Okay, so let's enable editing and then select this chart. And with the chart selected, we'll do Control C. And then we'll um, switch back to PowerPoint slide four and use paste special. Um, so we're gonna to go to the paste special and paste it as a link. Let's go down here and click paste special and click paste link. And we want it to be, um, yeah, just the Microsoft ch Excel chart object and click okay. And then um, it says switch to Excel and select the year cell amount of 1200. So go back to Excel and select the year cell, which is D2, and change the amount to 1277.50. So 1277.50 and enter. And then save the Excel file and change, and the change is automatically reflected in slide four. So save the Excel file by clicking on the save button. And then if we go back to um, 
slide, it should say 1277.50 on the slide chart as well, which it does. Okay. Then um, it says if the chart does not update in PowerPoint, right click the chart and select update link option from the contacts menu. Okay. And then it says increase the chart height to five inches and move it slightly to the right. So I'll click on the shape format, change this to five inches, and then move it slightly to the right. So it looks very slightly. So I want it just to be just above the Y there, or right in the middle of the Y, basically. And then close the worksheet and close Excel. So go back to the um, Excel and um, just close the worksheet. And then for uh, instruction nine, it says break the link to the Excel file small save-06. Okay, so to do that, we need to add this edit links to files to our menu. And the way you do that is you go down to the file menu here, the backstage menu, click on options, and then go to the customized ribbon. So right now I already have this uh, added to mine. So I'm gonna remove it um, so that I can show you how to do this. So I'm gonna click this. So yours will look like this. Uh, and you're gonna to want to change this to all commands and then scroll down until you find the edit um, links to files. So you have to scroll down quite a bit. Okay, and then you'll find this edit links to files. And then over here on the right-hand side, if you click on the Home tab and click uh, New Group, that'll add a new group. And then with that new group selected and your Edit Links to Files command selected, click on the Add button. And then that'll add that to your menu. And then you can click OK. And then when you go back to um, your Home tab here with the chart selected, you can click on this edit links to file. And then you can select this link, which is the link to that Excel spreadsheet, and just click break link and then close that. Now that was a little bit involved to do that, um, but that was the only way I could figure out to do that. Okay, so then we're gonna create two custom slideshows. So name the first custom show save and include slides two, four, and seven. So uh, we're gonna go to the slideshow tab select custom slideshow and click new. And the first one is gonna be, um, let's see, what's it gonna be? Save. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna click, call this save. Seems kind of unusual, but we'll do it anyway. And then we're gonna select slides two through four. So two, three, and four, and then slide seven. And then click add and then Click OK, and then we're going to add a second show, custom show, and that's going to be called Invest. So Invest, like that, and then that's going to be slides 5, 6, and then 8 through 11. So 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Add those, and then click OK and then click close. And then for instruction seven, we're gonna create hyper hyperlinks for custom shows. So update the shapes below the camera on slide one. So slide one. So this shape right here, select that. And um, it says be careful to select the shape and not the text, okay? And then we're gonna create um, hyperlinks to those custom shows. So we're gonna to go to the Insert tab and click on the links and out of the top part of the link. And we're gonna click on Place in this document and scroll down to the Custom Shows and click Save. And then click on the Show and Return button and then click OK. And then we'll select the shape for Invest. Again, make sure you select the shape and then click on the um, link top of the link button. Again, place in this document. This time it's going to be the invest and then show and return. Click OK. And then uh, for instruction eight, we're going to insert comments. So display slide four and add a comment uh, by following these steps. OK, so go to slide four. 
and then we're going to click on the um, click on the comment button here, and then we're going to um, type uh, the sentence that's in the instructions there. So I'm going to just copy and paste that. So like that. Then we're going to post the uh, comment by clicking on the post comment button there. And then it says to um, move the comment icon near the top of the chart. Okay. So it looks like it is. It's like near the top of the charts. There it is, the comment icon. Okay. And then for uh, 8B, we're going to display slide 7. So slide 7. Uh, and then we're going to um, type, add a comment. So click on the comment button again. And this time we're going to click on or add, remind people that their preferences may differ from the images shown here. So type that in there. And then hit the enter. And, uh, and then it says to, it says move the comment icon near the top of the smart art graphic. Okay. So move it over here like that, I guess. And then it says close the comments pane. All right, for step nine, we're going to apply the window transition to all slides. So we're going to click on the transitions button and click on the expand button here and the window. Um, where's that? Right here, it's in the dynamic content. So select the window and then we're going to click on apply to all. And uh, then an instruction 10 says inspect the presentation. It says, uh, okay, so we need to go to the file menu and click on the info and then click on this check for issues and inspect document and then click on um, yes. It says to deselect comments and then it says all the other boxes should be selected. So make sure that they're all selected except for comments and then click the inspect button and then it says to uh, remove all after document properties and personal information so okay so we're going to click on this remove all button here um and then we can close that and then it says to instruction 11 check accessibility add alt text and adjust reading order so we're going to go back to the review and check on the accessibility. So click on the top part of the accessibility button there. And then where it says missing alt text, um, OK. All right, so um, missing alt text. So expand that and then click on this picture to slide four and then select add a description to open the alt text pane and then um, says type the description text listed in the first row of table 6-4 okay so i'm going to copy that and paste it in there and then uh we're going to do the same and then we then we, we're going to go back <clears throat> hit enter or let's see Alt text. Okay. And then we can click on that accessibility and then click on this next one. And we're going to do add a description. And we're going to take the other in the from the table 6 4, the second one there under the content placeholder 3. I'm going to copy that text and put it here. Like that. This diagram shows that consistent saving plus compound interest equals significant growth. And then we're going to go back and take the, select the last one, add a description, and then we'll use the last description in that table 6-4. So control C, bring it back over here and paste it. And then um, go back to the accessibility, and uh, it says to check the warnings about reading order on slide five, slide five and select verify reading order to open the reading order pane. Okay. So slide five and then click on the verify object order, I guess. 
it says verify reading order, but it, verifying object order. And then um, it says move the title above the content placeholder. Okay, so I um, think to do that, we just drag it up like that. Just click on it and drag it up. And then uh, close the panes and save the presentation. So close the panes, both of those. I'll keep going until they're all closed. And then uh, save the presentation. And then we're going to mark the presentation as final. So go back to the file menu, backstage menu, click on the info, and click on the tech presentation, and select mark as final. And it says it'll be marked as final and then save. So click OK. And then OK. Just click OK. Let's see. OK, then click OK. And then it says close the presentation and then upload and save your project file. So close the presentation right here. And then close that other presentation. And then we'll be up ready to upload our file. OK, we saved and closed our presentation. We're ready to upload our file. It should be in the downloads folder. So select the downloads folder and it'll be this your first and last name finances 06 click open and then click yes submit once it gets there okay yes submit then we cross our fingers and hope for 100 percent 